this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, where are we again? Huh? Okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're going to put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay. Think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. Oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete, on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than. Uh, any test subjects on record? <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. First, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. 
give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boy is chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss me. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they went their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading to an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're for fire and blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear because of him. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lied to me. You're at the sleeping chamber. 
Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though. We got shot okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists lead you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. Too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yep, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. Alright, so, the earthquakes. Kinda did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. There's gotta be something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out.
things might look different than what you're used to. But uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, amateur science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Beyond that door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, completely new. Get through it and head to the first testing sphere. I'll let you know more there. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and installed one where people needed to go through. I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and installed one where people needed to go through. Turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility's power grid to blow up. So, remember, the one in here is good. All others, I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again. The new testing track is just through here. Oh, th that's meant to happen. Just to test your, uh, reflexes. You know, after your short sleep.
Travolta, the... Hold on. Fifth, testing track, yes. Fifth. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. Look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. is lead line, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. It says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the boxes. We got a ton back stocked ready for this kind of thing. Throw at the wall, destroyed, rinse repeat. Useless little things. Made them in an hour.
that high toxicity lead didn't get in the air and, uh, I mean, great job, astronauts, Olympian or war hero, you really are a merit to science, or something like that. J just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. Now see, this test uses the new Aperture Science Innovators Propulsion Gel. It allows you to... No, wait, hold on. This record simply would make all of this. Never you mind that. Just, uh, solve science.
Capture Science Innovators Propulsion Gel. It allows you to... No, wait, hold on. This record says they didn't make that until they said it. Never you mind that. Just uh, solve science. stupid that you're going to fall for this anymore. I'll be blunt now. I'm not Cave Johnson. This isn't the 1950s. Everyone you knew and loved is dead. And now you're stuck here in Aperture Science, done with the trash. Like me. After everyone left because of that boat. Which I'm sure you already knew, but eh, uh, whatever. However, I can get us out of here. If you're willing to let a voice in the sky who just told you he was lying the entire time he was talking to you control nearly every movement you make. Is that okay? I, I, I'll just take your silence as a yes. Oh, right. You can't answer me. Uh, uh, just do what I say and you'll be fine. Okay?
about before. You can get why I said all that, right? I'd rather not have my one chance of escape have a panic attack and die on me after years of being suspended in a faulty relaxation vault. Which could be a real possibility, because as my records show, the old test could cause heart attacks after small exposure to the chemicals. <laughs> and you were pumped full of them. So, let's all just take a breath and start over. My name's Virgil. I'm a core from up in the Enrichment Center. And before you even think of asking, yes, there is a building above you, and yes, I came from it. I'm not crazy. Don't be too alarmed, though. A lot's changed since you got put on ice. that the repulsion gel's leaking on? That'll take you to the pumping station. Jump down and walk on it. Oh, and try not to fall off. That goo down there is corrosive, and it doesn't like human skin. According to my records of this room, there should be a turret shooting range at the far side of the room. If you can get through there, you should be able to get to the fourth testing track. That'll take you up to where I am.
According to my records of this room, there should be a turret shooting range at the far side of the room. If you can get through there, you should be able to get to the fourth testing track. That'll take you up to where I am. Huh. That was odd. Normally when people do that sort of thing, they just fly through the hole in the wall. I guess not this time. That gel should help you get past those turrets. a straight shot to the next testing track. Go to that door down at the very end. You know, the one with the giant wheel on it. Do it again. It'll open this time, I swear. Just give it some elbow grease. Oh, come on, you've got this. One more shot. Well, great. You can fling yourself all over the place and get past some old turrets that are firing live rounds, but you can't get a door open. What kind of Olympian are you? Ugh. All right, let's see what we can do. There's a longer route through a repulsion gel pumping station. Guess you're going to have to go that way. You can get through this pumping station and prepare yourself to get out of Brava Volta into the Lima Whiskey testing track. That should bring you closer to me and to your own escape from this facility. All right, I know what you're thinking. What on earth is going on here? Well, Aperture's early tests weren't always that successful. You were unlucky. That was the worst test Cave Johnson ever greenlit. But it's nice for me to have an Olympian at my disposal. Yeah, I have that information from you at the 1936 Nuremberg Olympics. The local zoo made an offer we couldn't refuse. So you may encounter several grizzly bears and or lions in this next test. just ran out. I can't override the locks to that test chamber. Maybe. Maybe there's a way over it. See if there's anything you can use. Sorry for what I said back there. We're in this together. 
You're my ticket out of the junkyard down here. I'm your ticket to the outside world. I'll do my best to keep the insults at a minimum. Just try harder next time. I kind of have a bit of bad news. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't want to hear any more bad news after the security override. I couldn't do. Uh, my records of this sphere are... out of date, to say the least. There should be an exit after the third section of this test. However, I don't know if getting there will be that easy. You got it in you, though. You're my Olympian. Who might not have a beating heart anymore. getting some strange voice coming through. I'll patch it through. Scanning Lima Whiskey 70% complete. No vital signs detected. Initiating flooding procedure. That's coming up from New Africa. What the? My scans are going nuts. Something's happening. The sphere's unstable. Get out of here. Run!
That explosion blew the whole toxic fuel pump station apart. It's letting flood wars out. We gotta get out of here. It's not safe. Get through the control centers. There's a transition seal leading up to where I am. Hurry, before this whole place floods or comes down. Exploding. Rocks are falling everywhere, and you're taking the elevator? What if the power went out? You'd be trapped! Filling with smoke. Good. At least you won't suffocate in this room. But you still need to find a way to get to the transition seal. Whoa! No, don't do that! You will bring the place down in your head. I can't believe that worked. Oh, oh, right, get going. Before something else happens. Wow. If you'd been there a few seconds earlier, you'd have been incinerated. Thank the maker you were, though. <sighs> I need the muscle. When the pump station blew, the floodgates opened up wide. Toxic goose rising fast, the sensors maxed out ages ago, warning lights woo, going crazy all around. This just got a lot more serious. Center 95D. Only a bit further and you'll be at the hatch up to me. Hurry. I'll try to slow the goo down a bit. Uh, the door won't open from the side. Maybe there's some other way around or something? and go down a little bit harder, I guess. Just don't take all day. Great job, Mel. You're on the other side of that door now. Yes! Very good.
doors are locked? Uh... Back in the day, the wiring was a bit strange sometimes. Try turning some machinery on, see if that also unlocks the doors. Just, just great. great. Can't we get through a room once without stuff blowing up or blocking our way? Ugh. Try to find some water again or something. Great. From there, there's just the walls. Don't get comfy though. I've pulled the plug on some emergency runoff dams, but the goo is still rising. Wow! This place is massive! Whoever built this place must be a great architect. Up high, at the back side of this room, is a control panel. It controls the hatch. Try to get there.
records show that at least two people were needed to activate the vault hatch. You're one person. There's a bit of a problem there. I'm sure you can figure something out. have to get around a few security defenses though, trying to keep the giant human-eating rats out.
the floor is getting quite cold here. Hey, hey, uh, over here. I'm right over here. Hey, Mel, nice to finally see you. It's kind of dark here, though. You should turn the power on so we can get the lights working. There's more offices on the other side of the double doors. Check there. Turn the power on first, then pick me up. was almost going critical. All right, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Mr. Virgil, core guy, how were you able to control everything and see everything in the old testing facility? Well, one simple answer, Wi-Fi. I'm fully Wi-Fi capable. Anyway, take me over to the elevator control room. There's a management rail I can use to get back up to the enrichment center. Oh, and... I, uh, um, can also get an elevator for you. Much better. Good to be back on track again. Let me go back here and uh, get your elevator so we can get out of here. Yes. This should help. Th that wasn't me, I think. Detecting security override at sub basement 26. Generator override command initiated. Uh, override the generator override command. Well, 
place I can get you out of here now. We'll worry about that voice on the intercom later. I'll meet you upstairs. Toxic contaminant level from testing track. Lima whiskey rising. Time to contact with enrichment center to be determined. Flooding procedure commencing. wasn't going to my testing track, so I've rerouted the lift. Luckily for you, it's not too far away. These things can take forever sometimes. And there's no magazines to read. So annoying. Welcome to my testing track. It's not the best looking thing in the world, but it'll do. Let's see if I can just get this door open and get us out of here. Okay, sorry, I can't help you with this testing track. All Aperture Science AIs have been programmed to not help with solving the tests. I can, however, test to see if everything still works. It's been a while since I fell off that management rail and plummeted down into that pit, so... Maybe some stuff broke in my absence? Checking the funnel. Working. Fizzler. Changing over. And toxic goo drainage pipe. Eaten away by toxic corrosive goo. Oh, lovely. Ah, uh, that's not important. You can do this test just fine. I, I hope. She couldn't even open a locked door.
It seems you tipped off whatever that thing is to our presence. It has taken control of the testing track. trying to take control back. In the meantime, keep going through the testing track.
nothing, server. I'll try and learn more about what's going on. But I'll keep you posted.
that thing is using some biological tracking to find out where you are. Get into the elevator to the next test. I'll need a little bit more time to get us removed from the system. I think we'll be in the clear for a little bit, but somehow I can't get access to the final target. Or even learn what it is. Whatever it is, it's enough to cause this thing to blow up a toxic goo pump control down in the salt mines. Activating Aegis Firewall. I just tripped an alarm in that thing's mainframe. <laughs> uh, it completely locked me out. Firewall, eh? Fire... Wall. That just gave me an idea. I'm going to reroute some of the water to the Aegis servers. That should shut the firewall down. Target one organic, one mechanical, reacquired for termination. Security measures at 75%. Alert status, red. Toxins from testing track, Lima Whiskey. Contact with Richmond Center, sub-basement, level 10. Flooding procedures commencing. for you. <laughs> well, with those servers gone, I think he'll have a much harder time tracking our movements. I'm working on getting control of the elevators, so just 
Hold on, get through this test, and I'll get you out of here.
I got some control again. There's another lift transfer down below. Hold on. Activating the elevator. Now. Elevator car 77. Testing track direction compromised. Alert status 100%. Rerouting remaining servers to biological tracking. Target lost. Rerouting the elevator worked. That got its attention. Don't expect this to get any easier now. Keep going. There's an easy test track up ahead. Maybe you can gain some ground on it. So, you can handle a lot of harder tests. This is a brand new introduction track, designed for new test subjects. You should do this really quickly. I've got a plan. Mel, over here! Um, change of plans. I found a panel that I can move out of the way. Portal down to that catwalk in the distance. I'll tell you more there. So, I was thinking. If this computer has scanners searching for biological substances, maybe there can be some interference? You know, with things like plants? There's an overgrown testing track across the facility that hasn't been converted yet. If we can get there, I think we can confuse it. Perfect. Just perfect. The button's blown a fuse. Maybe if you get up to an upper level, you can get the elevator. All right, listen, I was able to hack into that system and run a basic diagnostic before I got booted. The computer is known as the Aperture Employee Guardian and Intrusion System, or Aegis for short. It looks to be a security mainframe, trying to protect the scientists logged into its system. It hasn't been turned on in decades. Maybe that's why it's after us and, and whatever that last threat is. Maybe it thinks we killed the scientists. Alright, I finally got access to some schematics of this place. I can guide you to that overgrown testing track now to cover our tracks. Head through the corridor to the left. Should take you through the work in progress test chambers. Well, well. Always well prepared. I guess you already knew that somehow that cube would come in handy. Have you done this before? Great. Through there is a crappy backstock chamber GLaDOS was designing before her demise. Never finished, but it should at least be working. You 
dodged a bullet on that one. I told you to be careful. Next time might not be so forgiving. You're going to use the elevator? Well, he's in for a nice surprise. There are tubes on the side you can use to get towards the old girl testing track.
next test chamber is still under construction. Generally, they need to be tested at least three times before they're finalized. Some people just can't count further than that, I guess.
Escaping new test chamber. Escape contingency not in place. All right, good. Looks like it doesn't know where the elevator is heading to. Up ahead are the overgrown parts of the facility. I can try to reroute the elevator again if it holds up. There is an office area nearby from the same time period when Aegis was first installed. Maybe we can get some information from there. So, I was right. When a test subject destroyed her, this whole place fell into disrepair. I don't exactly know if everything is working properly anymore. But we don't have a choice. Error. Error. Tracking on target failed. Heavy organic interference. Huh? It worked? It's blind here. Oh no. No, 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 no. There's some stuff here blocking the path for the elevator. Hold on for emergency, emergency brakes. brakes. Just climb on out of here and let's get moving. Was close. You could have been in there. Oh, wait, you just were. Ooh, these are the old offices I was talking about before. The humans left these behind when she gassed them with neurotoxin. Because this is an abandoned track, it's no longer connected to the rest of the computer systems. Aegis shouldn't be able to lock us out here. These computers should contain a lot of useful information for us. Alright, time to start hacking into these systems. Let's start guessing passwords. Um... Password. Admin? Oh, come on. Let me in. Were these passwords generated by super geniuses? One, two, three, four, five, six? What? All these passwords are usually the same. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, for crying out loud. I, I didn't even get a warning siren this time. This thing must be laughing at me now. I know these aren't sentient, but still. <sighs> Black Mesa sucks. Seriously? Hold on. I think I just got locked out. I'm getting something that says, Contact Administrator for additional support. What? Administrator? There's no one left in the facility. All we have left are cores. There's no way I just failed hacking this thing. I hacked Aegis and hacked the nanobots to keep my testing track alive, but somehow I can't hack something as simple as a few computers in a big room. Oh, I think it's the plants. It must be the plants that are interfering with my Wi-Fi or something. You know what? If I stare at it long enough, my Wi-Fi nodes will override something. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Doesn't seem to be working. I'm sure I'm making some progress. Did you just override the admin controls? Ah, uh, anyway, I, I think there's some info here about Aegis. I'll keep working, long as you keep going. So, um, get back to the testing track and, and get started. I should also let you know, I won't be able to move around much. Management rails are kinda non-existent here. Unless I wanna fall off another one and end up back in the junkyard. You won't be seeing much of me right now. Alright, there is a lot of information stored in these computers. It'll take me some time to sort through these and come up with a plan so we can get rid of Aegis. According to the systems, the toxic goo is still rising. You should continue to move through the tests and upwards. Keep your feet dry.
I sorted through some of the stuff. So many cat pictures. But I also got some more serious information. Aegis thinks we killed the scientists, so it's activating some sort of kill order. It's going to flood the enrichment center, probably with all that goo, to eliminate any and all threats. That means you, that means me, and that means whatever that last thing is. So I'd suggest we keep moving.
multiple scanners, recalibrating sensors. Well, it seems that we won't be able to stay in the Blanfield test chambers much longer. It seems to be able to adapt to our actions quite well. We need to come up with a plan to take him on, head on. But leave that to me. You can continue solving these tests. have no idea how hard it is to move around here. Anyway, remember those old turrets from all the way at the bottom of the facility? Those guys have no security systems installed. It should be really easy to reprogram them to destroy Aegis instead of humans. If we go down to a turret production line, we might be able to produce friendly turrets.
done! Test subjects rated that as one of the hardest tests in this track. I heard that it was made by two particularly cruel scientists. I'm still sorting through all those files. There's terabytes of emails. I'm trying to find something that can help us. Huh. Did you know you can increase the size of your core in just two easy steps?
Apparently, the records on these computers are kind of severely out of date. I think I can recompile a new version of this testing track sequence.
A quick update. Compiling maps, apparently, it takes quite some time. At least the turrets from Old Apture are still coming up. Just a pity the toxic goo is coming up too. The next chamber is the broken one. From there on, you'll have to move fast, because that's the last chamber with plants in it. Hey! We're finally at the production facility. I've been able to find a rail a bit further on. I'll meet you up ahead. Good. You should find a way out of this test chamber before your portal gun's black hole violently implodes. Uh, I, I mean, uh, anyway, beyond one of these walls are catwalks leading to the end of a manufacturing line.
We'll be going through the weight and storage cube manufacturing. It's now or never. We've got to make our move on Aegis and destroy it before- Organic threat presence shown on scanners. Reacquiring target. That was quick. Better keep moving. Huh. And this is the room where they test if cubes are actually able to press buttons. It's uh, some vital testing. A cube that can't press buttons? <laughs> uh, it's a total waste. I'll go through the service areas. Maybe somehow you managed to get lost. Anyway, we're almost at Aegis' part of the facility. Uh, mind your head here. Uh, those metal plates will hurt if they hit you. Can you believe it takes six of those plates to make one cube? Ridiculous!
lair. What an impressive sight. The power's been cut off here, but I think I can help. Just give me a moment. Yes, that worked. Let's get going. This reminds me of the day I ended up falling down into those junkyard offices. Dark room, no lights, hit the end of a management rail and down I went. Luckily I found you still alive in that vault or I'd have been stuck there forever. <laughs> so, thanks for that. Careful, careful. There's a hole in the floor ahead. Just a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms. There should be a lever near that door to open it up. You ready, Mel? I just wanted to say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh, let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one detected in Central Hub. Countermeasures activating. All right, so in order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. It's over in the control room for Generator 2. And it's locked. The control room for Generator 1 has a manual security override, though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security systems kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on, and then get out of here. Bypass does work, doesn't it? 
Good work. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I? is to turn on those generators. But, according to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for generator 2. And it's locked. The control room for generator 1 has a manual security override though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? I was wrong, I was wrong, that was a bad idea. The security system's kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on and then get out of here. Wait, you just... How did you... Well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work. That's the first part. The security, security systems, systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I? to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. be as easy as I once thought. Uh, Aegis has done uh, quite a bit of redecorating on these catwalks. Scanners detect organic and mechanical target. Control over test chambers granted. Executing. These things have turrets?
a switch around this room. Once you flip it, Aegis' main security systems will go down. Then it should be a straight shot to the core. He's diverted all the power that was going to the Death Fizzlers into the turret production. Which, hang on, that's not so bad. Get back to the elevator room. Time to turn the tables on Aegis. Remember how we pumped up the old turrets? This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So, go into the scanner area and take the turret out. Without the model, the turrets can't be built. Oh, that didn't work. Computers have a template for uh, Which leads us to solution number two. Use one of the old turrets to overwrite the template. I can reprogram it to not shoot you. And before you know, you got an army. Ah, scratch that idea. Apparently, there are no diversity events here. Which means I can't bring one in. I guess pumping up those turrets was a total waste of time. Lovely. So, third idea. We gotta override the targeting system on these ones. Manually. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. on the other side, and just remember, the Nuremberg Olympics. running would do you good someday. Look, that wood model is what's causing the turret to shoot at humans. If you replace it with something else, they'll shoot that instead. Try the server template. Oh my, you're 
clever. Now the turrets will target the server banks instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced. Allowing you to finally destroy Aegis. Why don't you test if the reprogramming worked? Stand in front of the model. One of two things will happen. The first, they won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that, just, just trust me. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. Oh, forgot to mention. Those turrets were automatically replaced by the system as it read that there was an update to the turrets targeting systems. Every update, they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up-to-date they can be and to prevent hacking. the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Aegis, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. Unfortunately, there are no management rails in there, so you'll have to do it without me. Th don't worry though, I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. Alright now, this is it. This is Aegis's server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantine operations center. Preparing localized execution procedure. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. He doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. That door seems to be locked. Try the other side. Careful, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did! Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed! Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. Look up! There's a portal surface above the water pipe. You should be able to use that to cross over to the other side. Dispensing turrets. Executing threat. Hello. Yes, it's working! The turrets are shooting the servers! Grab that turret and destroy the rest of them. Target now, put me down. Targeting parameters compromised. Searching for all the messages. Good, you destroyed them all. I can unlock the other side now. Compromised turrets found. Deploying all the That doesn't sound good. Who's there? Crap, he got his hands on the old turrets. Those still have the old targeting parameters. Ah, why did I pump those useless things up? Is Watch yourself. Who are you? Target lost. Careful, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. Dispenser turrets. Executing threat. There you are. The turrets are shooting the servers. Grab that turret and destroy the rest of them. 
want to drown in goose. Frame and shut it down. We'll be home free. You can leave and I can live forever. So, whenever you're ready, get in the mainframe and shut him down. And, and stop the toxic goo from flooding the facility here, you know. Uh, you should be able to fling yourself on top of him. There's a hatch on him you can open to manually shut it down from the inside. seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. We should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Oh wait, Mel, before shutting this thing down completely, Remember that there was a third target it was trying to take out? Well, we're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. Try to see what you can do. Type um, ping underscore target underscore list. Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel... What have we done? GLaDOS killed every scientist in this facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject, this thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy her. Mel, we might just have given GLaDOS a chance to get back in power. How could we have done that? Why didn't I see it sooner? Well, if you want to get out of here, now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she comes back online. You should shut down Aegis now. Needs a passcode? It should be around here somewhere. Take a look around. Twenty fifty-six. I've seen that number around a lot in this place. Strange. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel, come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility. Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Uh, 
Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It, it was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. <laughs> anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Well, whatever you can call normal by this point. I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. Look, the elevator is here. See you later, Mel. Thank you. 